two of um, the internet's outspoke, loud spoken people there. Uh, Tom Little, how are you getting on? Good, mate. And uh, Prince Patel. I'm good. Um, you're both training down here with Mervyn Turner yeah. um, at Shamrock Boxing Gym. What's it like, you know, to be training with each other? Who, who's the one? Who's the louder one in the gym? Well, we sparred one time and uh, Tom felt a body shot and we come back to the gym for a few weeks. Yeah. And put some weight on. And put a bit of weight on. Yeah, I tell you what happened, right? He was feeding me up with them lamb chapatis, right? And <laughs> he didn't think I was doing it. He'd bring these little pat like, lunch box and then he's fed me up on them and then he hit me with a body shot. And there's a tandoori lay in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no. Yeah, listen, we're both loud. We're both or something. Listen, we're both just confident in what we can do. Listen, he's the real deal. He, he, he's backing up what he says. Same as listen, I never knock back up what I say. It's just I'm not getting the chance to do it. But listen, he can afford to scream and shout. There you go. So. Um, what do you think, you know, training alongside someone so big, you know, I, uh, feeling I, the power, I guess you feel it through, like, yeah, the floor I, when he's on the bags. To be honest, when I see him in the bags and stuff, I, his record is, doesn't do him no justice. Um, I think he could easily win a British title. Um, I know, obviously, Josh and Dillian White just fought for it. I'm personally, from an outside perspective, talking from a fan's point of view, I didn't really see nothing great there. Um, I, think Tom could, I think Tom could beat Dillian White comfortably, in my opinion. But... Um, it's, it's down to Mervyn to make the fight and um, Tom to win the fight, which he's good enough to do. So he's, Prince has got sort of his views on where he sees you to go in. And what do you think of Prince's career and where, where do you see him going? You know, uh, in his division, where it's um, a very sort of light division, there's not many people out there. It's definitely a light division. <laughs> <isn't it? laughs> but, yeah, now listen, you look at the top ten in that weight, and whatever, there's not a lad there that he can't beat now. And that's generally my, my point of view. Just I'm not a bad judge of a fight. I don't think, as far as bookies are concerned, I've called a wrong fight this year. But I genuinely, I don't think Charlie Edwards can beat him. I, don't, I generally don't. Listen, it's a, different, it's a different thing, the pros and the amateurs. I've proved that I weren't that sharp of an amateur. And I'm a lot better pro than what I was. Do you know what I mean? So they need to get over that, what happened years ago. And I generally do think, listen, he can, if they give him the fair crack of the whip, that he's going to get with the Warrens, because to be fair, Andy Aylin and everything, he's got Mervyn with him as well. He, he, will, he will win a British title and he will go further. You, you know what I mean? The, he has got a world title in him. Generally, it's such a, it's such a weight as well. You know what I mean? He, it's there. You know what I mean? And he's got, he's got the talent, he's got the flair. You know what I mean? He's marketable. If you can't sell him, then I'll tell you the truth, you won't sell a hooker down in Soho if you can't <laughs> sell him. Wow. So. <laughs> also, um... Derek Chisora, if you're listening to this, you fat bum, fight him. There we go. Let's um, have it. One last bit from the two of you. Um, a word on Mervyn, you know, mm. to be training two people from opposite ends of scale. the scale, you know, so one minute he's in there with a heavy hitting. But that's just a world-class um, coach. If a, if a coach can only train a certain division, then that's not a world-class coach. He's an all-round world-class coach. Therefore, he's able to work with me and work with Tom. Do you feel the same? Yeah, you've so. got to have patience to work with me. <laughs> I'll say it straight, you know what I mean? Listen, he has changed me around. He's, he knows the difference, what you've got to do as a heavyweight and what you've got to do as a lighter weight. It ain't all just about, oh yeah, one, two, three, four, and a bit of pad work, a bit of sharp pad work, a bit of ground work. Listen, it's all about game plans, and you've got to have a right game plan for someone, that, someone like Prince's weight and someone like me, because I can't go out and fight like him. I'd love to, but I can't, big man. So, um, yeah, listen, he, he's, done a, he's done a credit to himself and uh, he's bringing on a good le legacy from his dad used to do it. He's been brought up around boxing, do you know what I mean? He's had some good fighters in the gym, as, as did his dad. So he's learnt, he's learnt from good people, do you know what I mean? So uh, that, says, that says a lot, you know what I mean? One last thing um, for Tom, really. Uh, Prince Patel's last fight, opponent had to go away and have his gloves sorted out, you know, laid on the ropes. Do you reckon we'll ever see you lying on top of the rope stuff? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm finding it hard getting up off the floor and the line of ropes. No, no, do you know what? Listen, I'll tell you what I might do. Next time out, I'll vault the ropes and that'll be about it. <laughs> no, I can step over them, but I'll, I'll vault them just to look a bit more flashy. The thing is with Tom, though, he's, he's um, high risk, no gain, because like, his record don't make him out to be as good as he is. Not many people want to fight him because it's one of them fights where 
you go into a fight and if you get beat, where do, what do you say from there? But it's a, it'll be a hard fight, if that makes sense. And I think he deserves some shots against some, some big names. I'll put it like this here. In no more plainer words than this, and I'll speak for the both of us here. Anyone inside the top ten who's got a pair of balls in their hands, right, and ain't too gay, who, ain't, who don't want to fight a taxi driver out of Lithuania or wherever they pull these plums from, right, step up, both of us a fight, Right, there's no two words about it. We don't need a belt, don't need a rust. So all we need is a hall, some fans, and a few cameras to witness us licking you like a bit of pussy. <laughs> right? And we will we will generally turn up and shut you up. There we go. So sort of two. Gary Cornish can be the first one. Yeah. Yep. So Come out of hiding. Prick. Top Think ten. I'll beat Gary Cornish. <laughs> top ten. Um, top At both divisions. Yeah. You're both coming for him. Brilliant. Cheers for your time. And I'll catch you again soon. Thank you.